Hi everyone, today I'm very excited because I am uh, doing something that I've never done before, which is a makeup video in collaboration sponsored by Wet n Wild. And I'm sure that all of you are familiar with Wet n Wild. It is a brand that you probably know and remember with love, probably either your first lipstick or your first eyeshadow. For me, it was my first eyeliner. And as you know, I'm not a makeup blogger, I'm not also a makeup artist, um, but I do love drugstore finds and especially um, drugstore finds that are affordable and that are high quality. And so um, when Wet n Wild approached me and said if I wanted to play a little bit with their new offerings for fall, I was very excited. So. Um, one of the things that I love about them is that they're cruelty-free, they're never tested on animals, and they're really, really high quality. In fact, a lot of them, um, you would, you know, be hard to find something uh, more expensive with better quality. So here's the best part about it. Uh, they're going to give all of my followers a 25% discount that is going to be linked to this video. So make sure that you take advantage of it because I am going to be featuring and showing you a lot of very fun and fabulous products. And before we start, I really wanted to share one thing that I absolutely love about the philosophy of Wet n Wild, which is that their products are made to highlight all the kinds of beauty that are in the world and all the individuality that is in the world in order for everyone to exercise a little bit more kindness and humanity. How fabulous is that? All right, so let's get started. So before we start, let me tell you what I've done. I've actually prepped my skin and what I've done is I've used one of the products that I was sent, which has been one of my favorites. It's the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water. And you have it in, in um, three different, um, I guess, flavors or smells or, you know, um, colors also but I got the rose one and I love it I use rose water all the time so this one was definitely something that I loved using in fact I just recently took it to Paris because I, I really loved it it really works as a primer and you sort of spritz it all over your face and it preps it and it preps it really well it moisturizes it and it gets it ready um, for foundation or concealer to glide without any sort of problem and so that's the first thing that I did. And then I applied foundation. And in order to apply foundation, what I used was um, one of Wet n Wild's um, sponges. Um, it's a makeup blender sponge. And what you do with this, if you've never used this, this is something that I've come to use and rely on uh, very recently. Of course, I'm very late to the, to the wagon, but here, you know, bear with me. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. This is a game changer. You actually wet it and it's going to double in its size and you can also use it dry but I, I like to use it wet um, and what it does is that not only it helps you to use a lot less product but also it helps you to sort of uh, pad the um, the product into your skin and it really eliminates even um, pores it minimizes the pores and it really leaves your complexion with a flawless, very professional finish. And I have, um, well, I tend to have a little bit oily skin, and of course I live in Miami, so humidity is always an issue. And this actually helps very well. The other thing is that, as you know, I'm over 40, so I do have, beginning to have certain little lines. And so when you apply, for example, uh, loose powder with this, it really gives you a very flawless complexion. And if it's, it, if it's moist enough, then you sort of um, bake the powder into uh, your skin and your lines are not gonna show. So it's really, really a fabulous, fabulous tool. So after I did that, um, what I did next was um, just 
apply a little bit of um, loose powder and a little bit of bronzer just to, you know, on, on this area here, just to um, give a little bit more structure to my face and you can use any bronzer that you want. So now that I have my face sort of uh, prepped for the fabulous products um, that I'm going to use, the first thing that I'm going to use is uh, Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I don't know if you can see it here. Yes, I think you can. And it is one of my favorites. It's fabulous. Um, Wet n Wild is really famous for highlighting powders and their pigments are very rich and very good. And this one's no difference. I mean, this one is, is just great as well. This color is Blossom uh, Glow. And it's a very light, very elegant and chic um, pink, which I think goes well with any skin tone. Um, but with me, I love it because I'm very pale and I have a lot of red undertones. And so this one actually works beautifully. In fact, I was wearing it yesterday because I was playing with these uh, products before I started uh, making the video. And my mom actually uh, complimented me on, on my skin. And I really had nothing except concealer and just um, that um, highlighting powder. So it, it's really great. It gives you a glow. It gives you um, a very subtle uh, luminosity to your skin, even when you're not wearing anything. So I really, I really love it. And so what I'm gonna do, in, you know, obviously I'm gonna use it for a lot of things, but um, today I'm actually going to be using it in a way that probably was not necessarily meant to be used, but I loved it, which is as a base for my entire eyelid because I'm gonna be doing a very soft and very romantic and chic uh, look. And so I, I wanted to start with that. So I'm going to be dipping and just applying this to my entire lid, okay? And as you can see, I just, you know, dipped it once and I applied it to the entire eyelid and you can already see the difference. You can already see the color because the pigments are very, very rich. And just do this liberally until you have achieved sort of the consistency that you want. And make sure, because it's a highlighter, um, make sure that you apply a lot of it here, or a little bit here, because this sort of gives you a very wide-eyed, not tired um, kind of look, okay? so this inner corner of your eye. And of course, you know, the arch of your eyebrow. And you can add a little bit more later, but for now, this is sort of what I wanted, okay? So you could literally just put eyeliner and um, go out like this. It looks very, very pretty this way but I'm going to do something else. I am going to be using the Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad Palette. And this one comes with 10 different shades and it's really, it's a very neutral palette. So you could probably use these shades uh, for both day and night. You have matte shades and you have um, shiny or shimmering shades like these two that are shimmering and sorry, and this one too that is shimmering these two here. Um, but they're so subtle and so elegant that you can actually use them for day looks as well. They're very sub, sub you know, not not really very shiny. They're they're just very pearlized. So they're very subtle and very you know very very beautiful, very chic. And in, in fact, I'm going to be using the pink one. And this pink one that I'm going to be using here, it's a little bit more pigmented than the highlighting uh, powder that I used before. And because of that, it's going to be perfect for 
my actual lid, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just apply it to the center of my eye here and define the crease a little bit more with it, okay? And you can apply it to the entire lid like I did and define the crease. And as you can see, the pigment is great and it has a lot of definition and a lot of richness. So just carefully add it to the entire lid and um, it'll give you a little bit of pearly shimmer, but nothing that looks out of place in a day look. Obviously it would look fabulous as well in a night look, but today we're creating a day look that we can actually very easily convert into a night look as well. Um, at this point, since I have defined the crease completely, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take the next shimmering shade, which is this one here. It's a little bit of a darker pink or a sort of um, rosy, purplish, maroonish color. Very pretty, very, very light shimmer as well. And I'm going to dip the brush and just go and define the arch and the outer corners of my eyes. So even though I'm using brushes and uh, I love using brushes, don't, don't be scared. It's not going to end up looking like that. Um, and this is the part that probably shows that I'm not a makeup artist. I adore using my fingers because they give me the control I want and the control I need. <laughs> and so I like to use those anytime I can. So I define here the arch with a darker shade. Okay. And now I'm going to be using my fingers. And so very delicately, I'm not doing it hard or anything. I'm just kind of blending and making sure that the whole lid is well blended. Yeah, I'm sure makeup artists don't do this, but I'm sure regular people do. I'm a regular person. So here you go. This is how I apply my eyeshadow most of the time when I finish with the brushes. So there you go on that side, now on this side. And this ensures that it's well blended and it's only where I want it. Okay, so now I um, have finished with my eyes and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take again my flat brush, okay? And I'm going to reapply just to make sure that I have it done right. I'm going to reapply again a little bit of the pink in the center of the eyelid. Because with all that blending, maybe I obscured a little bit of that, okay? And again, I'm gonna blend it very unprofessionally probably with my fingertip. There you go, perfect. Um, now I'm going to take again my blender brush and I'm going to kind of go through the entire eye and reapply again the highlighting powder just to make sure that it stays strong on the outer part, I mean the top part of the eyebrow, okay? There you go. 
back on the corners, the inner corners of the eye, and I'm done. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a little bit more of here. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a flat brush that originally, I think this flat brush was um, for lips. I never use it for lips. I have a different one for lips. So I use this one for two things. Um, usually my brows, which by the way, um, this palette, you could probably, in my case, I could probably use this uh, shade down here to fill in my brows a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually using the um, dark uh, purplish shade that I used and I'm going to add it to the lower lash line, okay? So I don't know why I like this brush, but I really do. I think it's probably because it's, um, it's flat, but also it's um, stiff. And so because it's stiff, it gives me a lot of control. So I really like it. And you can build on it, so it's great. Okay, I really love the shades. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's not really shimmery, but it's kind of like pearly not so much shiny as it is pearly very pretty okay so this only gives me a little bit more definition on the bottom of my eye um, so that i can then apply um, eyeliner okay and at this point i'm pretty finished with uh, my eyes i don't think i'm gonna really do much uh, much more except that I'm going to be using my third favorite product now. And I cannot wait to tell you what this is. And I'm really new to this. But this is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. And um, it is great. The shade, they have different shades, but this one is called I'm So Lit. And literally, when I put it on, I'm super lit. Um, and what I do is I shake it a little bit, and then whatever is on the lid, that's what I use. So I use a fan brush, and I want to use a lot because, honestly, the pigment is amazing. So you want to make sure that you are um, mixing it well on your brush because it's going to really show and be prepared to be completely shocked. So I don't wear blush because like I said at the beginning, I have a lot of under um, skin redness and uh, basically I'm red enough and <laughs> I don't need any additional blush. But with this, it actually gives me an inner glow that uh, makes me not only look less red, but also makes me not need blush at all. So with this, I carefully just apply it here. Okay. And I'm going to apply it as well on the bridge of my nose. Okay. Just very lightly. A little bit on the forehead. Okay. And just here. to highlight the Cupid's bow on top of your lips. This is going to make your lipstick, especially in that area, really show. So as you can see, you don't need a whole lot. And all of a sudden, it almost seems like I swallowed a light bulb. It is absolutely beautiful. And the skin looks very, very, clean and uh, just very um, just very flawless very very pretty okay 
you can actually also put a little bit here and help the other highlighting powder do its thing. So this is literally all you need. Okay. And it looks very, I don't know, like porcelain. Very pretty. It's a very pretty color. Very neutral. I'm going to try to show you like the actual powder. See if you can see it here. I don't want to drop it. But basically it is sort of like a sand color goldish sand color um and it is great so by far my fun my fun um little uh toy here all right so face wise i am done um i am going to now um do a little bit of eyeliner and for that, like I said, I don't actually um, use black eyeliner um, because, you know, for day, it actually, for me, looks a little bit harsh. But for night, it, I certainly do. And I'm creating a day look, so I'm not going to use this. But Wet n Wild also sent me this really great uh, mega liner uh, liquid eyeliner which is fabulous for night looks and uh, fabulous also for um, you know cut eyes and this one in particular is great because it has a metallic sheen it's called cosmic black and so it's very metallic but it's very subtle so you put it and it's black and it's beautiful and then if you move a little bit you have a little bit of sparkle sparkle in your eye never a bad thing so it's great for a night look beautiful for a day look i'm actually not going to use um liquid eyeliner but what i'm going to do and i usually wear brown eyeliner which would be fabulous here so what i'm i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my palette here and with my flat lip uh, lip uh, brush that i use for something else uh, I'm going to take this shade down here and I'm going to use it as a liner on the top okay so let's see so just basically contour the eye to give it a little bit more definition And one thing that I love about this uh, palette is, and this pigment, is that you can use the brush wet or dry. Uh, right now, I'm using all of the brushes dry, but when you use them wet, they give you a lot more definition and the color actually um, stays a little bit longer, I find, in most uh, cases, but also um, it stays stronger. So you can see just by doing that, huge difference between this eye and this eye. So here comes the next one. And you literally just apply this one the same way that you would apply a pencil um, liner or a liquid liner. Same thing. I'm not going to use liquid or pencil now, but I'm going to give myself just a tiny bit of a wing with the powder like that same thing on this eye and i think we are done oh well not done there's other things left that we need to do um i don't know why but i'm feeling a little bit adventurous so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dip it in a little bit of the black why not and go to the outer corner and just give a little bit extra there yep i like it It's 
it's not very noticeable, but it gives it a little something. Okay. So now I'm done in terms of eyes. And the next thing that I'm going to be using is mascara. And this is the Mega Volume, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. And it's uh, this one is in very black. Mascara, yes, absolutely black mascara, a must. So one thing that I like about this one is I have not only very sensitive skin, but I also have very sensitive eyes. And um, I love when mascaras don't actually irritate my eyes. That's always a big thing. So this one not only gives you high volume, no flakes, no clumping, but also it is infused with vitamin E and rich minerals and oils that are natural. And so it is actually great in terms of nourishing your lashes. So I love it. And the other thing that I love is the brush. This brush is fabulous. It is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is very, very big and very, very round. And even though I did not curl my lashes because I have deep set eyes and when you curl your lashes, they sort of, you know, tip the top of your um, eyelid, like in your brow bone. And, you know, by the end of the day, you look kind of weird. So I normally don't curl my lashes, but if you do, this is great. And, um, if you can see, I didn't even have to swipe it um, as I brought it out of the tube or anything. And wow, super fabulous. Look the difference between this eye and this eye. Amazing, totally different with just one coat. So let's do the second coat, well, actually the first coat on the other eye. And I'm just amazed that I'm actually doing this while talking and not opening my mouth, which is seems requisite whenever you do mascara. Okay. I don't have the bushiest eyelashes, but look at the huge difference than one coat, just one coat makes. Now, you could also um, apply mascara to the bottom lashes. Um, and I normally do for night looks, but for a day look, I don't. So I'm not going to apply um, any on the bottom here. I have a little bit of mascara that went to the bottom. Okay, so now, I think I actually need a little bit more um, black on this side because since the light is coming from over there, it's hard sometimes to see. Oof. There you go. That's why fingers are so great. You can clean out stuff also with them. You could also apply a little bit of uh, concealer afterwards. Okay. So now I'm done. I feel pretty good about it. Um, and now I'm going to apply my lipstick. And before I apply the lipstick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of the rose uh, water very far, kind of arm's length. And so kind of spray it. sort of to set your um, makeup and you can use your sponge to sort of tap it into it. And, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my lipstick. Now, um, Wit and Wild was kind enough to send me two, whoops, let me put it this way. Okay, here you go. Um, two lipsticks okay and this is their famous uh, mega last liquid cat suit um, in two different colors the first one is wine is the answer 
fabulous name. And then the second one is Sending the Nudes. I love this shade. If you can see it here, it's a really neutral, beautiful shade. And you would think it would look good on me. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look good on me because of what I've told you about the redness. Underneath, I have very naturally red lips. In fact, right now, I have powder on my lips and they're still red so uh, whenever I apply nude lipstick it looks like somebody punched me in the face so I can't really use this although I'm experimenting um, but the wine is the answer is a great shade it's a berry shade but it is and you know that I am a um, very true red uh, fan but this is actually a very good shade for every day um, if you're shy on the red uh, this is a great color it, it goes very well with everything and it's a, it's just very very pretty and again another thing that I love about this one is the applicator I'm not sure if you can see it here on my skin but it has the shape of the lip, so it makes it applying very easy. The other thing that I love is that it combines the shine of a gloss, but the pigmentation of a lipstick. So together it creates sort of a lacquer that is very long lasting, but very comfortable. It's not stiff, it's very hydrating, very moisturizing, and just very comfortable to wear. So I wore it, for example, all day yesterday, and it never faded. It was, it was perfect all day, so. And as you can see, I didn't even use um, a lip liner um, because really, honestly, there's almost no need. The applicator is so great that it really doubles as a lip liner. <laughs> It's great. And after I apply it, instead of blotting it, and you can if you want to, I simply blot it with my fingers because that will take sort of the edge. and leave me with the color. And so here you have it. It's my Wet n Wild uh, makeup look. Um, you can see my eyes closed here. I hope I'm pointing to the right direction. Um, but I feel um, very chic, very elegant, um, and very put together, but it's definitely a look that I can um, go to work with. Of course, I'm not dressed for work, but um, you'll see more of this on the blog soon. But um, it's definitely, you know, a day to night look. You could accentuate it even more with a little bit darker shades for night, for night look, um, if you wanted to. Um, but just like this, uh, you could also, with a softer color dress, you could be very, very pretty in a night look as well. So I hope you enjoyed this um, makeup tutorial. Please be kind, it's my first one and I've never really done anything like this before, but it was a great experience and I'm very thankful to Wet n Wild for wanting to collaborate with Keep to the Armoire and for gifting me with so many little toys to play with and so many fun products to try. So don't forget to, um, Click on the link, take advantage of your 25% discount, and make sure that you get familiar with all these fabulous products, um, especially my favorites, the highlighters. And tell me um, if you use them, um, share your looks uh, with me, and tell me um, what's your opinion on them. So thank you so much, and see you next time. Bye-bye.